The United States' close ties with some of the regimes in West Asia, especially its support for oil-rich Persian Gulf Arab rulers, have long been blamed for many of the problems in this part of the world. A case in point is Saudi Arabia, which is controlled by an autocratic regime with a notorious human rights record. It never gets even a slap on the wrist for its violations of human rights inside the kingdom and its destabilizing actions in the region. Saudi Arabia's war on Yemen has created the world's worst humanitarian disaster. Even when Saudi airstrikes hit markets, weddings, schools or hospitals, killing large numbers of civilians, the war gets little attention on Western news channels and no criticism from the White House. Later this month, it will be the sixth anniversary of the beginning of the Saudi-led offensive against its southern neighbor. The U.S. is definitely a partner in this aggression. For most of the war, the U.S. military provided support, including intelligence and logistics for the Saudis and their Emirati allies. In response to the ongoing Saudi-led bombardment, the Yemenis have been learning to hit back with missile strikes and drone operations. And this is definitely angering the Saudis and their supporters, who have loudly condemned Yemeni retaliatory attacks. Such stances, especially by the United States, have drawn fierce criticism. The leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, has slammed the U.S. for distorting the truth about what is happening in the region. The Ansarullah's capabilities to hit Saudi targets with high precision are improving fast. Ansarullah's arsenal of new weapons, including projectiles and drones, has become a major headache for the Saudis nearly six years after they began the war to defeat the popular forces. The leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution slammed the U.S. and the United Nations on Thursday for condemning the Yemenis whenever they managed to retaliate against Saudi Arabia. The Iranian leader says the U.N. is even acting worse than the U.S., as the world body has failed to criticize Saudi Arabia for pounding Yemen for six years. Ayatollah Khamenei also had tough words for the U.S. for failing to act on the murder of dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. The leader said Washington is turning a blind eye to the gruesome assassination and keeps up its support for the Saudi regime and still claims to be a supporter of human rights. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden is widely under fire for deciding not to punish the Saudi leadership despite the recent release of an intelligence report that shows Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman approved the 2018 assassination. The Biden administration has concluded that directly penalizing Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman would risk damaging American interests. Before taking office, Biden had promised to take a very tough line on the kingdom over its human rights violations. But so far, Biden seems to have done too little to keep that promise. Virtually nowhere has Biden done anything uh, to change his policies. I don't think uh, uh, that that's going to happen. The fact is that American policy making happens in the corridors of power behind the scenes and the presidents uh, essentially, whether they're Democrat or Republican, do as they're told. They do as the money mafia in the background tell them or the system, the systemic, if you like, uh, uh, backdrop which is there. And I thought I'd come in, I has kind of pointed to this, that uh, uh, the system, whether it's the United Nations, whether it's the World Bank, whether it's the American government, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, whether it's even the the likes of who, uh, there is an international network of, uh, if you like, levers of power, which are used to make sure that uh, all and sundry follow exactly uh, what they're told to do. That led to more deaths, more infections, more stress. 